So did they say call the sheriff down here? No. So did they say you're calling a riot? You're uh, that's disorderly. Can you arrest him? He's yelling. You're a smart You're embarrassing yourself, dude. You are embarrassing yourself. I heard them do it, dude. I heard them do it. It's on video. See, I'm you're totally here. wrong. You didn't even know what you're talking they about. They said, call the lie. sheriff you're down here. Yourself. It's on video. I'm not lying. It is on video. Video don't it's, lie. It's a recording. Video don't, don't lie. Dispatch, Dude, neither does that. walk away. You're embarrassing yourself. You're ridiculous. Everything you say is wrong. I have you're it on so camera. You're embarrassing yourself. You're stupid, dude. You're stupid. What's going on, folks? And welcome back to San Joaquin Valley Transparency. I'd like to thank you all once again for tuning in. We have an absolutely amazing video for you folks today, brought by the way of this channel here, The Random Patriot. Guys, if you haven't yet tuned in and subbed to this guy's channel, I highly suggest you guys go ahead and check him out because he does extraordinary work. In this particular video, he conducts a First Amendment audit at the Clinton Police Department in the state of Arkansas. You guys are absolutely not going to believe the result and outcome of this particular First Amendment audit. He also comes across the sheriff of Van Buren County, as well as a few deputies, in which you guys will quickly find out are no better nor smarter than your average Joe. I want you folks to go ahead and check this out. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. I'll go into you guys at the end of the video. That's interesting. What's up, dude? Is this, I mean, this car's left on. Oh, Scott. Oh, cool. I think you left your car on, brother. No, my car is not. Oh, the dash is blinking stuff. Does it just do that all day? It does. Oh, I didn't know that. Police Department. What's your name? Cool. I'm Justin. Nice to meet you, man. Did you ask about the audio I can say? No, sir. I don't. No. Arkansas is one of the 15 out of these states. There is no way you believe that. All right. Since you're starting off this way, do you have somewhere higher than you? Because I promise you that's not correct, and you're going to get your whole town into a lawsuit. And I don't want to go that way. I've been having a great day. You sure. don't want to go that way either. But if you just tell me your name. I'm not telling you my name. I'll tell you my first name, and we're stopping there, and I'm not answering any more questions. Okay. If you want to ID me unlawfully, you're going to lose your job and your qualified immunity. Can I ask you what you're doing? I'm working on a story. For who you with? I'm an independent journalist. What's your name? Solomon. Lieutenant Solomon. Solomon? Yes, sir. Do not think. This is not, there is no such thing as a stop and ID state. There is no such thing. That is a term. Okay. That is a. Let, okay, let me explain something to you. Can I explain something to I'll you? I'll listen to you. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. This day and time, there's all sorts of things going on. This day and time is a terrible um, thing because we're in one of the most safest times to date in world history. Tell me a safer time in world history than, than right now. Okay, so so, just, so don't say in this day and time, because right. cops always say that, and it's stupid. Okay. So, so right. you, you can start over, though, if you want to. Let me, let me just put it like this. Yep. You know, if we see somebody looking at our police cars. Come talk to me, sure. But don't, but don't threaten to arrest me if sure. I don't give you my no, ID. I, I, didn't, I didn't threaten to arrest you. Me. Did, no, you just did, brother. I just said Arkansas is one of the 15 out of these states. That's I'm not correct. A, a demand or request. Nope, you that's not correct. Get a lawyer out here. If you think that's true, you need to look into it because you're going to get yourself in trouble. That is not true. And I'm a thousand percent positive and I can show you case law and Supreme Court rulings and everything. A hundred percent. More or less, we're just concerned about what you're doing. Well, do not think that you yeah. can just stop and ID anyone you want. You're going to get yourself in trouble and you're non constitutional. You are unconstitutional. Well, with what's going on, I mean, it's you are un to No, ask. if you think you can do that, yeah, you, you, you don't believe in the Fourth Amendment if you think you can do that. Do you know what the Fourth Amendment is, sir? What is it? You know, please say what's the, what's like the Fourth Amendment? Yeah. This is, no, no, no. This is important to everybody that you know the Fourth Amendment. What sure, is it? Sure, I know it. Every so, what is it? Know it? What is it? The right, right of freedom. <laughs> No way you no just said speech. that. No, that's the First Amendment. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's the, what I'm saying, the First Amendment. No, the First Amendment. Right bro, speech, what's the Fourth or, Amendment? Okay. All right, just, the, um, oh my God, dude, and you're a lieutenant? Is your chief here? No, he's off. Today. We need someone to teach you what the Fourth Amendment is. Fourth Amendment. What is it? My, my question is, what is the, just, no, you know, okay, what doing, what's the five elements you know, of the First Amendment? You know, there's you know, there's just, five we elements. Just, we just had some there's concerns. five elements of the First Amendment. I questions for you. No, I have some concerns and questions for you. There's five elements of the First Amendment. What are they? Well, I'm going to go ahead and... What are they, sir? What's the Fourth Amendment? You don't know any of it. If you don't you need to, to go study the Constitution, and until you do, don't say a word to me, please. Go back inside, look up the Constitution, and read those rights and learn them. Memorize them, then come out. Other than that, you don't know what you're doing or what you're talking about, and you don't need to be a lieutenant. And I'm sorry I'm getting mad, but that is ridiculous. You should be ashamed of yourself for not knowing the First or the Fourth. Walk of shame right there, and it's deserved.
Oh, they're locking me out? Lieutenant Solomon, you're opening your city up for a lawsuit by allowing this door to be locked because of me. You're not allowed to pick and choose who comes in here. So either you lock it to everybody for the rest of the day, or you're opening yourself up for a lawsuit. And you better have a good reason for having it locked the rest of the day, not just because there's a guy with a camera. So you better open this door and let me come in and we can get this over with. Why are you guys so scared of someone with a camera? What are you hiding? You should be welcoming me in here, showing me around, making yourself look good, making your town look good. Let's start over. Let's start over. Do you want to let me in and just show me around and have a pleasant conversation so we can change this? I'm willing to, re I'm, I'm willing to start over with y'all. All right, I gave you a chance. I'm honestly not going to waste my time in this stupid little hallway. This lady right here. Uh-oh, they're sending the sheriff out here. The sheriff showed up. Hello, sir. How are you? What's up, guys? Good. All right, I can come in now. They weren't letting me in a minute ago. You know, that's a lawsuit if I wanted to. I don't want to. I'm literally just trying to have a pleasant time here in Clinton. That's it. But here we have... Is you, uh, what's your name, sir? I'm Sheriff Eric Oh, you're, you're the Eric sheriff. Yeah. Awesome. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Justin. Good to meet you, Justin. Uh, so why'd they send the sheriff down here for a guy with a camera? Somebody sent the sheriff. They, we all monitor the radio traffic. Hey, dude. Hey, if hold on. Before call, you lie on camera. If we get a call, if we get a call over the radio. No, I heard them call the sheriff down we, here. I heard them on, I have them on, on video okay. calling the Any, sheriff down here. Anyway. Uh-oh, they're sending the sheriff out here. We, so now you're lying on camera. So now I don't want to talk to you either, dude. Goodness. If we get a call, we're going just be to real. Call. Just be a real person for two seconds. Why can't no one just be a real person you in here? A real person. I am. Yeah, you're in here causing a problem. No, I'm exercising my rights. Yeah, but if, you, if it becomes disorderly, I told you my name's Justin like six times, really. Okay. You can ask, and I don't have to tell you. Okay. You have to have reasonable or so, you, you have to have. No, you're not. You have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. You're on private property. Look at people. Again, if you call us, no, this is public. This is public property. If you call us, this is public property. This is public property. Were you parking your cop cars back there? Then it's public. It's public. I'm civil, brother. That's what I'm saying. But if it did become disorderly, then you could be charged with disorderly conduct. Yeah. But until then, Don't, as long as you're still... You're also looking at private things back like there, too, because we should... I can look at anything I can see from public. You can't trespass my eyes. It's private property back that's there. That's public. Uh, other, other if you park your cars there. back there, that's public. The other cars are public. And even if it was private, I have to be trespassed before I've committed a crime. So no one in here knows what the hell they're talking about. This is getting crazy. He, he, he said that he can make me ID just because he wants to. That is mind blowing that he thinks that. Because he doesn't know what the he didn't, know what you're doing. I asked him what the Fourth Amendment was, and he says freedom. That's not. That's right. embarrassing, dude. Right. You had to go look it up after. You did, well, okay, what's the five elements of the First Amendment? If you state your what's the, name, what's, what's the five? Right what's your the your five elements? elements? Give me two of them. Okay. We have right to ask your full name. Give me two. You can ask all day, and I can tell you no. Well, just like you said, he had to go look it up. You can sit down in your car and look up every. Dude, amendment I know them by market. heart. That's, that doesn't matter. It's not required no. by law for anybody to know it. It is required by law. Do you no, and you no, and you that's and you where you're all wrong. sign? That's where you're wrong. Did no? When you go to the academy, the only thing you're required to do is to brother to read it. Because did you? With it, all right, I'm about to own you. Know where you can get ready, brother. Get ready. You, you get ready. You, you, you get ready. You swore an oath to the Constitution when you were signed in, and I could find that on video. I bet. So you swore an oath to the Constitution. Okay. So you were there. No, now but you're lying. but that is what See, all police lie. do. You're telling us we're lying. No, you're lying. it is required. No, you're if you didn't, into the right because you don't know. You're it, trying to. You're making dude, it you're, up. You're, you're, you. I'm listen. So you. Can you so you did. So you didn't so swear an oath. So, so you didn't swear an oath. I can tell you, you're being. You can call me whatever you want. See? It doesn't hurt my feelings I'll be like as it does yours. As you're being. It's not hurting my feelings. It obviously is. I've been doing it for 20 years. So you did not. So many people have called me. So, 
this. For work? Answer me this. I did you did you, you sign it? Did you swear an oath? I know this probably isn't out of the ordinary, but this is the most ridiculous behavior that could come from a public official, let alone the sheriff of the department. Believe it or not, folks, that it is not that uncommon to see this type of behavior from these so-called higher-up police officers, and most of the time we see them acting worse than the rookies. My only guess could be is the amount of ego and authority that comes with the position, which to the people it means absolutely nothing. They are still paid by tax dollars, which comes from our pockets. No matter the position, all cops still swear an oath to uphold our rights that are protected under the Constitution. The rest of this video is the conversation between the sheriff and the random patriot, in which the sheriff says some ridiculous stuff and gets put in check for it. Let's go to keep watching, folks. To the Constitution. That's where you're wrong. He I says he didn't. So you did. He, this sheriff, did, he does not believe in the Constitution, and he did not swear an oath That's to it. That's what you believe. You're gonna have to get out. If you continue, if you continue, and yes, this becomes disorderly, yes, I explained to you yeah. at that point, it would be a disorderly conduct. Dude, chill out. You're stupid. Uh, okay, you call me stupid, I call you stupid. You don't, you don't even know that you swore an oath to the Constitution. No, I'm not answering you. You walk around thinking that you have no uh, duty to the Constitution. To the, people, the, the Constitution. Do you live the in Constitution. The Constitution. Do you live in Van County? No, I don't. Then I don't answer to you. Have a good day, sir. Uh, do you get state taxes? Do you Have get federal day, taxes? Sir. Do you get state and federal taxes? Have a good day, sir. So you don't know shit, brother. Have a good day, sir. You guys don't know anything Have here. You don't get... Day, no, you sir. can't. That's freedom of speech. That is... The, that's day, freedom of speech. No, you don't know the Constitution. You obviously What's don't freedom know of speech the statute mean? of disorderly conduct. If you incite a riot, if you, if you incite a riot, what riot includes, am I inciting? Which includes any freedom more, of speech, any brother. Than two or three people freedom of speech. Then you are you guys are the making the right, then not me. I'm by myself. Right. You're the one I'm by myself. Stupid and dumb, and you're the one that's you guys are the ones that are supposed to know the Constitution, and I know it ten times more than you. That's fine. You guys don't know anything about it. Your whole job, your whole job is to uphold the Constitution. Our whole job is to uphold the, the state Constitution. Laws that are in the nope. What's more important than state laws? Federal laws. Federal law doesn't supersede it absolutely, state law. No way That's you just said that. Wrong. No, yes it That's does. Where you're wrong. Yes it does. Yeah. I promise you. If the if we the Supreme Court if the Supreme Court laws. says Arkansas state See, law is wrong, then it's wrong and over with. Arkansas doesn't get to say, well, we get to do whatever Arkansas we want. Constitution. You're embarrassing yourself on the internet. No, I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. You're embarrassing yourself. Say your yourself name again. You came if here, you don't think you're embarrassing you yourself, what's here. your name? I won't say my name until you say yours. I already said it. Once. I already said it. No, you didn't. You didn't give us your full name. I, don't I have told to. you my full name and who I work for. Yeah, because it's your job to. It's not I, mine. I'm a yeah, private citizen. You are not. A, but you're You're the government. You are the government. It. Right now, I'm the I'm the I'm the people. It, listen to me. You request my name. I'm the people. Yours. You're the government right now, and I'm the people. And now, this is what the government's the doing. Right show me the law right now that says that I have to give you my name. That's in your policy. And who I am. That's in your policy. I'm asking you. Give me two minutes, and we I could look it up. The, we wrote the policy. It's our policy. And then you should know it, dude. Because you're obviously passionate about what you're doing. Yeah. That's wonderful. I know what I'm doing. That's you wonderful. do not know what you're doing. You're embarrassing your entire county. I do know what I'm doing. You're embarrassing your county, and you're not going to get reelected now. Get down and try to and you're going to be screwed. Out of the Constitution specific things Dude, it's not even pick out. It's says. fucking blatant. No, it's it's blatant. No, it's it's First not. Amendment right. First. No, it's not. What are the five elements no, of First not. Amendment? No, you don't know not. it. You should be proud to say it, regardless of whatever I said if before. You want to set up. An you should be proud to say it. Come by my office. You should be. I'm not talking to you, dude. I'm not. I'm not confronting you out in public and you trying to somehow attack me or, or I wasn't or, or he what, came out trying to attack me. me you were and called because of me and I have it on film that you were okay, nobody called he me. walked in and you said call the sheriff you talk about somebody being dumb you realize or the lady did the lady did on for I have it on film dude I have it on film. So you don't want me to say this because it's gonna make you look dumb. Say whatever you want go ahead. Okay you realize I'm about to embarrass radio you. is on that a radio's on if any officer hears just That's not what happened. To, to, it doesn't I have it on film, dude. You could have six what do you not right get about I have it on film? Dude, six people were what? not dispatched down here. It just went across the radio. No. And we always yeah, the go lady, and back up any he, call. Dude, okay. He walks in crying about what I said to him. Then that lady immediately says, call the sheriff down here, and I have it all on film. Okay. You are specifically saying the sheriff was called down here. My phone didn't ring. And no okay, so, so the they radio. did it over the radio. There you go. It's it's a it's a. Open they called you down over the radio. I specifically, when I took off. So did they call the you down over the radio? So did they call you down? So did they so say call the sheriff down here? No. So did they say you're calling Nobody a riot? Said. You're, Nobody uh, said. That's disorderly. Can you arrest him? He's you're yelling. You're smart, Alec. You're smart. You're, you're embarrassing you yourself, dude. You are embarrassing yourself. I heard them do it, dude. I heard them do it. It's on video. 
I'm Say you're totally here. wrong. You didn't even know what you're talking about. They said about. call the lie. sheriff down here. It's on video. I'm not lying. It's on video. Video don't it's, lie. It's a recording. Video that don't, don't lie. Dispatch, Dude, neither does that. Walk away. You're embarrassing yourself. You're ridiculous. Everything you say is wrong. I have you it on so camera. You're embarrassing yourself. You're stupid, dude. You're stupid. Just to try to engage police officers? Is that what you're doing? Because uh, you're bored. Is that what it is? You've got nothing better to More do. assuming. More assuming. You're, 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 you're free assuming. to go. You're, you're a free person. You're free to go. You're not, you are not detained. Here. You're free to go. You're not detained. You're not detained. You're not detained. I know I'm not because I, I know, know I know the law. I know I'm not because I know the law. And there he goes, being a five-year-old again. Yep. This is not a service I to the Yes, it is. No, it's I get thanked every single it day, dude. It genuine people that actually believe in our Constitution. It embarrasses You don't even know what the Constitution is to you, believe in it. You don't know. You think, you you don't think know. Arkansas law supersedes the Constitution. You Get out of my know. face if you think you that. You think Arkansas law supersedes you it? Do, do you think Arkansas law supersedes it? Know. Answer the question, yes or no. You do you, you think Arkansas law supersedes the Constitution, the Maddox? Officers. Maddox, do you think that Arkansas law supersedes the Constitution? That should be an easy question. You should be proud to say hell no. You should be proud to say hell freaking no, it doesn't. The Constitution is all. The Constitution is all. Nothing is over the Constitution. So you think because a federal agent comes here and says that I'm supposed to take somebody's weapons away, that I'm supposed to enforce that because that's federal? Does that say that in the Constitution? No, absolutely I'm not. saying the, consti absolutely not. the Constitution. The Constitution. says we are a right Bro. to open carry. Okay, and if I it ever, stand behind that if it ever comes to that. And that's Arkansas Constitution. All right. You just earned. So you tell you me earned, which. No. You tell me which one supersedes. All right. So you were wrong. Hold on a second. No, you were no, no, wrong no, no. and you I, won't I'm, admit it. I'm not wrong. I'm about to give you. you I'm trying wrong. to give you some credit. If you'll stop talking for two seconds, I'm about to give you some credit, bro. But but you are wrong. But I'm I'm gonna explain it. <laughs> I disagree. I am not wrong. saying anything that the government says supersedes anything you say. I am saying the Constitution. It now, to me like stop over talking me for two seconds, the, dude. Let me just finish my f***ing sentence. This is annoying as hell. Let me finish my sentence. I apologize for getting under your skin. Let me finish my sentence. But when I make Can you not talk point, for two seconds? When I make the Good point, Lord. You no, you up, don't. I'm no, trying to tell you, you that you don't. You get angry. God damn, dude. You're so dumb. See what I mean? The Constitution has nothing to do... The Constitution says that the government can never take our guns away. So when I say the Constitution, I'm not talking about some new law the government passed. I'm saying the Constitution that gives me the Second Amendment right. That's right. So, when, so what I'm about to give you credit for is thank you for standing up for my Second Amendment right, even if some tyrannical government that might be federal tries to take them away and you're going to stop them and you're not going to take them away from me, now I I give some more respect to you for that, regardless of anything you've been wrong about before. But I was not saying the government supersedes Arkansas state law. I was saying the Constitution does, and the Constitution has a Second Amendment. So you were wrong by saying, well, what if a federal agent? That has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Constitution. Not not some federal agent. So you're just you're just reaching for some way to win, and you have no idea what you're even talking about. The Second Amendment is the Constitution. You did because because I have public and I have public servants here that don't know what they're talking about. When you lose ground, public servants don't know what. Dude, you can't you can't stop interrupting anybody. You're disgrace. You wouldn't let me get a whole sentence out without talking over me. This whole time, which has nothing to do with the Constitution, it just makes it absolutely you does. Getting pissed off because because you don't know it, because you don't know it. No, I, when and I, you when think I, I'm wrong because I'm saying the Constitution is. It, you think I'm wrong by saying the Constitution supersedes Arkansas state law. That is mind blowing and it does piss I me said off. Arkansas Constitution. I did not say Arkansas. So, okay. Law. So you can record your video and you can play same that thing. Back. Say it for I me. I said the Arkansas Constitution supersedes. Is what I said. You. So you think you, you just lied when you said no. I said Arkansas law. You just lied. I think you said law, but I'll just agree no. to agree. I'll, I'll agree to, to disagree. Take the time to review Listen, your I'll agree to disagree. You said Constitution. Fine. That's still wrong, brother. That's still wrong. Arkansas Constitution does not supersede the Constitution of the United States. It does not. Please say it for the camera. That it does. Because I'd love to have that on camera. Say it for the camera. S say Arkansas law. Got you there. You're, Why are you smiling? You dude, are, you're smiling. Because that, that was kind of funny. you're almost laughing. Because that was kind of funny. I, I know. But, but, you, but you're five I, years old, dude. You're I know, five years I'm old. I'm dealing with a five-year-old. So this is your boss, Maddox. Boss. You're your boss. I bring myself down to he is level. I can see it on his face. He's embarrassed for who he's working for you right now. You admitted to me that you work. I can see it on Maddox's face, dude. Hands, so you're here doing a constitutional audit because dude, you just, you're bored. It's not more time on my hands. I don't have two seconds of spare time. 
Any spare time I have, I do something. Enjoyed coming down here just because I overheard. Then go back to your office, bro. I've dismissed you 12 times. All right, folks. I just want to quickly give props to the random patriot for conversing in this conversation that appears to be going nowhere. This pretty much shows where the level of intelligence is here with the sheriff, as well as the level of education, which really isn't saying much at all. This is what you would call the education process on the First Amendment, one of the most basic elements of the Constitution that protects our rights. This cop is obviously too ignorant to listen to anything he is saying. Let's not forget, folks, that they are not taught this aspect of the job in the academy. The only time it is ever mentioned in most departments is when they're swearing the oath to become a cop, which ultimately means nothing in the end if if they don't uphold it, which I think is a huge shame in my opinion. I believe the understanding of the constitution would help bridge the gap between cops and the people. Instead, they are being taught a bunch of silly protocols that violate our rights, in which they will continue to use unless you stand up for your rights. Let's keep watching. I dismissed you the same amount of times. You can't dismiss me. I did. I said you're free can't to do go. It. You can't were never do it. being detained. Can't do it. You were never detained. You can't dismiss me. I'm undismissible. That's my middle name. So now you got two of my names, Justin, Mine's undismissible. Late. Mine's late. Hell yeah. Like Robert E. Lee. I want to explain something to you. You do realize that I wasn't called on the radio. I overheard the radio and I came down here. But but what, here's All right. what you don't understand. I'll believe whatever you say, sure. But wait, I'm just keep trying to explain this to you. I came down here to You're just trying sure. to start an argument, dude. No, I came this down was down stuff from the past sure that you just keep bringing this up. This was a peaceful conversation. Okay. That's why All I'm right, here. so I'm going to believe everything you just said. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to believe everything I just said. I have on camera. Him going in there and saying there's a guy outside with a camera and then her yelling, call the sheriff down here. And I have it on camera. But just because she says call the sheriff down here, that doesn't mean All dispatch right. received that call that says send Coincidentally, the five minutes later, the sheriff's here. Just coincidentally. It's less than five minutes to the sheriff's office. I told you the radio perfect. was on. So perfect timing. So five minutes after she says call the sheriff down here, the sheriff's down here. Overheard Interesting. Having a disturbance at Interesting. The city Man, you're not a very good detective. I don't have to be. I just yeah, I, I, I can see that. I can see that. Okay. I can see that. So, you, so you heard over the radio a man with a camera, a and you said drop everything. You're saying a man. I said a disturbance at the. Where's the disturbance? Department. I'm standing in a public parking know. lot. I, I take so you agree there is no up. disturbance. I just so you agree they I just, lied I just, on just the said, radio. Aha! Uh -huh. So you agree they lied on the radio then? I won't agree with you. There's no, there's, there's no disturbance. Reasons, but I did come down here to ensure that there was, this would be a peaceful. Cool. So, so now that you see that it's no disturbance, you're dismissed. Thank you for dismissing me. Do the walk of shame. Get back to your boss or get, get back to your job, my brother. Job, again, this is a city police department. When I heard disturbance at the city police department, I come down here to ensure that this would be a peaceful encounter. And you. You ruined it, man. You were you were gonna be the savior. So this was gonna be a to be this was savior. gonna be a perfect video of the sheriff coming down here and straightening things out, but it wasn't. It was a sheriff coming down here and looking dumber than the police officer that called the sheriff down here to begin with. Okay. And if it wasn't for the, your Second Amendment comment, you would have nothing good to say this entire time. But you're trying to serve your country by confronting police departments with a random, random. It's a name, dude. Chill I out. But it's a random. Yep, I'm it's a patriot. Not a scheduled. It's a random, what you call a constitutional audit. So, I, that's not all I do, but that is kind of what today is. Yeah, okay. sure. Yeah. Okay. But that's serving your country by trying to surprise a police department or a sheriff's office and walk in and go. So you obviously, in a so you audit. obviously don't know the purpose of it. Dude, my sure. number one purpose. And you just said when I post this. My number one purpose to is to make change. Is. is to make change. So, for example, there are, uh, let's see, three towns in Arkansas that have retrained their entire police department because of me. Okay. And I had a lawsuit that I could have filed. Now, hold right on now a second. Is, though, that you are operating on fear of lawsuits. You're actually trying to make change. Dude, no. Let me lawsuit. finish my sentence for once and you'd understand what I'm saying. Don't get angry. Quit, it, quit interrupt me, bro. I'm not I have discussion. three places where I could have done lawsuits, and I chose not to. It wasn't even a hard decision. And what I wanted instead mm -hmm. was for retraining on the police department. And guess what? That entire police department got retrained on the First and Fourth Amendment. And that's what I wanted. And I made change. And guess what? Now they do it annually or every six months. They just do it because I was there. And I've even gone back and talked to them after, and they openly admit, thank you for coming up here and doing that. Yes, that was a weird day, but it made a lot of good change. And now every six months, we train our officers on the First and Fourth Amendment and reasonable articulable suspicion and so on when we didn't before. And so now I'm saving you from lawsuits. And so I'm educating the police department or the sheriff's office 
I'm educating the people in that town as well. Well, if that was your goal, and I that's what that is my goal. And interrupted your goal with the police department. I apologize. That is my goal. Okay. And I can show you videos where I've done that already. That's my well, whole goal. Well, if I interrupted, I didn't mean to. I, like I said, yeah, I you came in proving I, I the stupidity of the sheriff's office too. No, I came in to ensure. Within that five this is a seconds, you said. Encounter. Within five seconds, you said Arkansas supersedes federal. That is the stupidest thing a sheriff could say. Okay, you just made a generalized statement. What did you Arkansas say then? You say it. You say it how you said it. You say it how you said it. Arkansas Constitution. Still wrong. That's said. still wrong, dude. That's wrong. And, and I didn't say supersedes. I said we have to abide by. Do you want to go back? No, you said it overrules. I forget the word you used. Our whole job is to uphold the, the state Constitution. Laws that are in the nope. What's more important than state laws? Federal laws. Federal law doesn't supersede it absolutely, state law. No way That's you just said that. No, your best bet is just to admit you said it and to learn from it and not to lie. Because now you're a liar too. First it's one thing to be wrong, it's another to lie. You instructed me to admit when you have your video, you can sit down and play that. I'm trying to later. help you, dude. I'm trying to help you. Help me what? People like whenever you're like, dude, you don't want to know what? I overreacted. If, if you were like, I overreacted, I was wrong about that, and I'm actually going to go look into that. Now everyone loves you. And there's no there's no craziness, and I'm happy. I don't have now, I will research but, everything to but the now, That's what I But do. now, not only were you wrong, but you're lying about being wrong. And now you're just a liar no, and you're I wrong. I didn't lie. I said, you have it on video. You can sit down and review it. That's what I said. You're trying to say you never said it. I didn't say that. I'm not going to say I didn't say it. I'm so, going to say whatever you have on video. So will you admit, you will you do this for me? Will you admit you may be wrong and that you're going to go look into I it? I could be wrong. And, you're and, and I will research everything. There you Absolutely. go. Absolutely. Perfect. All right, folks. Although it seems like these guys are the stars of today's video this sheriff had a whole lot to say about a whole lot of nothing this is the cop i want to shine some light on as he is the one who got fired as a result of this first amendment audit and rightfully so in my opinion i definitely don't think someone who knows very little about the constitution deserves that kind of position of power but if we're really being honest here there's probably about 70 percent of cops out there who don't deserve the role it only goes to show what type of standards these police and sheriff's departments hold themselves up to in which obviously the bar isn't very high which is why it is quite shocking in my opinion to see that some action was taken against this former lieutenant's behavior Behavior. I don't want to speak from a biased standpoint here, but it is rare that we see government and public officials hold themselves accountable, and that could not have been done without the help of you folks watching, who called in to express your First Amendment rights to redress your grievances. So for that, I would like to thank all of you ladies and gentlemen for watching and tuning in. As always, the original video and channel links will be down below the description as well as in the comments. Make sure you guys tune into the Random Patriots channel and let them know I sent you. Once again, I'd like to thank you all for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one.